Hello and welcome to the intermediate guide to the arena. This time we are facing the Lightning Golem. And this is intended for people who have been playing the game for about a month or two and don't have access to any of the good limited units. Now, I'll just start off with a couple of things. One, uh, there are several different ways to skin this cat. This is one of potentially 15 different team builds that one can potentially use to get a really good score in this arena. There is also a physical type of deck. If you're heavily invested in physical units, I would suggest checking out Paragon's video if you are looking for that. There is also a build with Leah that also works really well for Melt. However, I have not been able to get that to work myself, so I'm not going to feature it. This particular build here matches pretty much right up with what I have available to me. Uh, one thing I will note is usage between 3-star and 4-star explosive Megamine. Now, I don't have New Year Megamine to use. If you do have her, she is a massive, massive, massive upgrade. You will use her second ult, and you will bury this deck. Uh, but I'm using the three-star version as I have her fully upgraded with skills. Four-star version, I only have the one copy of her. She's going to do inferior damage. Not that it necessarily really matters in this case. The ult's going to do the same. Either which way, let's go ahead and see how this works. So we'll start out with a ring basic. And we'll turn the gauges a little bit just to make the next wave easier to clear. And that will be an ST from Mega Man. Now I'm going to go ahead and wait for Mega Man's gauge to fill. Hit the AoE button there for auto wave. Hit the AoE button on Megamine. And that should bring her within one bonk of exploding. We'll hit the tier one. Up. It's just something that's better than nothing. Then we have the godly bonk of Megamine. And we're going to use the auto button to use her explosion. We'll use a Rin basic here, and then we'll just wait for gauges. Magic defense, and we got a critical hit. Heal. You want a little bit better reaction time. Uh, nothing else for there. Everyone will tank that with ease, thanks to Amy just being Amy. We'll see who she hits. Using the auto button to activate Amy's ult. Rapid fire. And now we're going to use our flex option here. I do have that flex option. Now we should have the flex option here to use the heal. 
That's exactly what we're going to do here. Because we want our Rin to survive this. Optimally, you would want the Lightning Golem to hit Amy there. Then you can sacrifice Amy off. Use Rin's ult after Union comes on the board. That's the better way to go about this. Okay. Hitting auto just to get another action out. And Amy and Union should both get an attack off. And that ends us at two, just shy of 225. So you can rack up a pretty decent score using this. It's not perfect, but it is very consistent and serviceable. It's a reason why I'm suggesting it. It's probably the easiest deck to play here. I don't know if you can necessarily auto this, but it is definitely very straightforward to play. I hope that you have taken the information out of this video to good use, and I wish everyone luck in defeating this guy. He is definitely an easy one.